to make the deli ham work and have deli ham and a bunch of other sides for our Easter lunch. Hey guys, today is Sunday. I always have to think about it. It's Easter Sunday. I just finished filming my makeup video for Monday, which I'm going to start calling Makeup Mondays. And um, the mic was off. Let me check, make sure the mic's on now. The mic's on now. The mic was off the whole time. So I'm just going to edit it and do a voiceover. I'm the worst YouTuber ever, y'all. I mean, really. How many times do I do this? I can't believe it. Anyway, my great-grandparents, my great, comma, grandparents, not my great-grandparents. They're my grandparents. They're my mom's mom and dad. But they're great. And they brought us Easter dinner, lunch. Um, They just bring it and they drop it off. And then Michael and I eat it together. Just so nice. I can't. I appreciate them so much for doing that. It's so great. Um, it's even better because Michael and I ordered some groceries this past week, and we did it through Kroger, and we got it delivered through like they partner with Instacart and they deliver it to you. And so we allowed for substitutions. We've never done this before, so we were like, okay, well. A lot for substitutions, you know, we don't really know. So, I ordered a, it's, they call it a grab-and-go ham, which is um, a, it's like a ham, like a smallish ham, and it comes pre-sliced and pre-cooked, and all you have to do is heat it up. And that works great for us because we don't have the time, nor do we want to make the effort to cook a big ham. Well, I guess they were out of the grab-and-go ham that I had ordered, and they substituted it with deli ham. So our plan was just to have, to make the deli ham work, and have deli ham and a bunch of other sides for our Easter lunch. But my grandparents called me this week and asked if we would want them, if we would want them to bring us some Easter lunch. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, that would be so great. So we got to have, like, an actual ham ham that my grandma made and a bunch of sides that she also made. And she made us this, like, individual small angel food cake. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'll show you a little clip of it later. But I appreciate that so much. It's so great of them. They're the best. Um, they saved us from having to have deli ham for our Easter lunch. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's just like the theme of how my week is just going. Like I order one thing and I get another thing. It's just like I do one thing and something else happens. Like it's been such a long week. Such a long past month and a half honestly. It's just everything that's been going on. Um, I'm rambling. But my plan for today is to edit a lot. I have to edit and post the vlog that's supposed to come up today. And then I need to edit my, that makeup video I just made so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Tomorrow, which is Monday, I have um, an oral argument. So for my lawyering skills class, we have to write, like we do simulations of like what it would be like to be, to have a case in court and work through that. So we had the appellate brief, which I talked about in the past couple blogs about how I was working on an appellate brief. I had to write it and turn it in. So now the next part is that we have to argue our argument, our appellate brief essentially, to judges. And um, so my our, our argument is on Monday. Um, we have a co-counsel. And then there, we have to, there are defendants that we're arguing against. And then we get graded on how well we argue. Um, so I have to prepare for that, and I don't want to do that, but I have to. Um, 
yeah, so that's my day is just editing, preparing for this oral argument, preparing for classes as I normally would. I just feel very, like, like, very off, very demotivated to do any schoolwork because of everything that's going on and um, it's just really hard and it's really hard to not be able to go see my family that's three hours away it's really hard to be able to not just to go out and just do what we want to do and go shopping when we want to go shopping and go to the store and you know when we need one little thing to just run out to the store and go get it is really hard and I think that is just really making my motivation like zero and yeah I just if I fail this whole semester at this point honestly I don't care because it's just not there for me like maybe it just wasn't meant to be that I complete this first year of law school maybe this was how it's supposed to be Maybe COVID-19 is what's telling me don't complete your first year of law school. But I have to push through those feelings. I have to edit this, these videos, get that cranked out, and then work on my oral argument and the rest of my school work for the day and hope for the best. And yeah, I could rant about this. I can make a whole video about this. There's so much to talk about with like law school and things like that. So if you if you're interested in that, you know, if you know someone who wants to go to law school or starting law school and they want a video that could help them or give them information, let me know in the comments if that's something you know, you or someone you know would be interested in and I'll make that video, but yeah. I spent too much time rambling. I need to start editing. Maybe this week I can do something fun in the vlog. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> That's what I said last week and it didn't happen, so. <laughs> Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. Somebody come get her. She dancing like a stripper. I wish I would have been filming when he jumped in. Right. So Triton has a history of peeing in the basket, so I'm kind of concerned. But he looks like he'd be just chilling. He'd be just chilling. Great grammar, Rachel. There was also a quick period, just recently, where he Take a nap. would sleep in the baskets. I think that's what he's doing here. Wait, maybe I can't, I can't tell. Wow. Is he cleaning himself? Yeah. So guys, I'm stressed. I went on a rant earlier, and... I was talking about how I just feel very unmotivated from school. I feel very overwhelmed because I am trying to make the best YouTube channel I can with great content and I'm vlogging and I'm posting three videos a week and it's just really hard to edit everything and keep on top of my schoolwork and I don't. I don't have the desire to do the schoolwork. Like, my desire is to edit my videos and make more content and really focus on my channel. My desire is not my schoolwork. And so I push my schoolwork off to the side until I absolutely have to do it. And then I feel very overwhelmed. And it's just a struggle. And I don't know what to do. If you feel like I should make YouTube my sole priority, then like and comment on this video and also donate 
a th let's see how much money do you think we would need. Okay, if you feel like I should make YouTube my sole priority, please donate a hundred thousand dollars because that would be enough to buy the house that I have my eye on and it would give me a little left over to like for the first couple of months of bills so um yeah if you don't want me to feel overwhelmed we'll take a sugar daddy at this point as well oh for you you'll take a sugar daddy michael says that he'll take a sugar daddy um or sugar mama what's the most you'll do for the sugar mama or daddy whatever he'll do whatever whoa wow all right so let us know if you want to be michael's sugar daddy or sugar mama if you want to donate a hundred thousand dollars to us or if you just think i should suck it up and continue with law school then don't say anything at all and just let me be measurable or give her motivation give her motivation to continue with law school that will never happen because I have zero motivation. Because I know for a hundred percent fact that law school is not what I want to be doing. And I'm just on this road because that's where I have to be. Because I'm stuck in a black hole. So motivation is not an option. You'll just have to watch me suffer. And that might be great content. And maybe that's the content you like. Maybe you like to watch people suffer. And if that's the case, then you're welcome. Because this is the right channel for you. Any closing thoughts? No. Like, comment, and subscribe. And donate. No. But like and comment and give Rachel some inspiration and some inspiring words. To continue through. Are you even in school. frame? All I see is your legs. Oh, right there, I'm in frame. Insert sexy music here. No. That one. Is yeah. You put that one. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. For a sugar mama or a sugar daddy. Hit him up. Five five five, four hundred sexy. <laughs> I wonder if that's a real number. Whoever was the five 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 four hundred sexy is gonna be pissed. <laughs> My bad. Sorry in advance. All right. I better stop this. Good afternoon, humans. I hope you heard that because that was a huge burp. Anywho, it's Monday, and I have a really bad headache. So, I haven't really done anything. I edited my video that I uploaded today, my Easter-inspired makeup look. And then I had an oral argument for class, for my lawyering skills class. And so that just got done. And then, and now, Michael and I are headed to Sonic because we love their sodas. And I'm probably going to get a little bit of ice cream. Um, cause you know, I'm trying to lose weight, so the best thing to do is eat ice cream. But, um, ice cream will feel good on my stomach, and I deserve a treat after that oral argument, in my personal opinion. Um, so weight loss will have to wait for another day. Um, it's not a good philosophy, but that's my philosophy. Uh, so anyway, that's our plan. We're gonna go, oh my gosh, my hair. Guys, I need help. We're gonna go get Sonic, and then I'm gonna come home and probably take a nap, because I need to sleep off this headache, because at this point, when I get headaches like this, the only thing I can do is sleep it off. So, chalk it up for another unproductive boring content day so yeah final thoughts let's go to sonic let's go good morning today is tuesday <laughs> and um i 
haven't been productive yet today. I'm getting ready to eat lunch and then I plan on being productive for the day. Um, although this morning I did make schedules for Michael and I um, that I'll show you here in a minute. Um, <clears throat> I've decided we need to put ourselves on schedules like cute little babies um, because we're not being productive and my finals are coming up and so I need to start being better at schoolwork. So here are here are our schedules. Um, so we have one for Monday, Wednesday, Friday and one for Tuesday, Thursday because my class schedule is a little bit different. So we just kind of like worked it out so <clears throat> our schedules kind of match with um, my class schedule. So it really doesn't seem like a lot of work, but we can get a lot done in the, in the hour. And then bigger breaks will help with staying focused and things like that. But this is just, it's more flexible than what I had been planning on doing the eight to four. And this way, um, because it's more flexible, we'll hopefully stay to it and we'll get a lot more done. So we're going to start that tomorrow. Um, hopefully it will work for us. Um, but I'm getting ready to eat my lunch. I made a chicken salad sandwich. And then I got to get ready for class. And then I'll have class and then um, I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I want to try to do something fun um, and different from what we've been doing every night. So maybe we'll play a game together or something. Um, I really, I have a puzzle app on my phone that I really love playing, but it makes me really want to play, do play. It makes me really want to do a real life puzzle. Um, so I might bust that out tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. So that's on the agenda. Um, Hopefully this week will be better, I think. Let's see, today is the 14th. So I have this full week, and then next full week, and then finals. So I have like a week and a half until finals. So I'm really freaking out. And then that's the end of my very first year of law school, which is crazy. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know why we landed on that topic. But, um... Hopefully we'll do something fun tonight and kind of just keep this week lighthearted because next week will be a little crazy for me with finals approaching, so yeah. So Michael and I made homemade Oreos tonight and I don't know if they were a fail or a small success. Um, let me show you them. There's, there's they are. There they are. Um. So the frosting we didn't have powdered sugar for, so we had to improvise and make it without powdered sugar. So the frosting was kind of questionable. I mean, it had a good flavor, but like the form of it was just not good. Partly because I messed up the recipe and didn't add enough butter. Um, so the cookies itself were really good. It was just like the frosting that didn't really hold up well. Like we needed a thicker frosting and... It just was a kind of runny. So we had to freeze them before we could like eat them. Um, but once we froze them, they were okay, I think. Um, what do you think, Michael? Yeah, they did so good. I was, I was fine with them. I would have much rather just went to the store and bought Oreos. But, but this was a fun thing we did together. It was, that's true. It was, yeah, it was more about the experience. Is your microphone on? Yeah. Good job. She's she's doing it YouTube. She's not messing her crap up and forgetting her microphone. Thank God, because we're already two minutes into this clip. Yeah. Working late, huh? Working late. Making that Monday. <laughs> hey. That's hilarious. <laughs> Making a whole like six dollars for each hour on top of whatever. Whoop de whoop. More than me. More than me. That's true. All right. Well. I'm going to close out the vlog here. Um, final thoughts, Michael? Wash your hands. 
Michael says, wash your hands. Don't pick your nose. Don't touch your face. Stay away from people that aren't in your household. Social distance, y'all, so we can get the F out of the house. Am I right? I'm right. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, guys.